Hey everyone, it's Malexia. I have made a quick video here. This is not related to MCAST elements or anything, but I was posting on Twitter about these Twitch issues and the, it quickly realized that was there was no way I was going to be able to explain everything that I wanted to in those Twitter messages with 140 characters, so I just decided to make a video about it. So a couple of changes coming to Twitch. Um, one of Twitch's uh, features is a <laughs> system called VODs, and VODs are the ability to watch past broadcasts and things that streamers have recorded on Twitch TV, um, similar to videos. They're actually called videos on demand. Two changes coming to videos on demand today. Um, the first one is that VODs will no longer be saved within a certain time frame. Those videos will be deleted on Twitch after a certain amount of time. Highlights will be kept, which means you can go into that video and you can choose what video you, what part of the video you want to save. Um, but they won't be longer than two hours and you will, and then the base video will delete after some amount of time. The second big change and the one that I think that people are really worried about is that audio is cut out from VODs, which means that, um, due to DMCA, which basically says that we can't play copyrighted music or, um, any kind of content relating to copyrights, including in-game music without the permission of the publisher is, um, now going into effect, so those VODs will be automatically muted by Twitch TV's new um, automatic content system. Okay, so that's what's going on. I have a lot of thoughts about this, and uh, they're just going to kind of be here and there because I didn't really prep to do this video, but I wanted to talk about it. I think it's really important. The first thing is I, I think that a large result, the large reason why this response is so negative from the community about this issue is because... Twitch has failed to communicate with us about what is happening with Twitch. We know from other news sources that Google has an extremely high chance of buying Twitch or already has, although it's still unconfirmed at the time of making this video. And we haven't really received any commentary from Twitch about it. So we're living in this really super unknown. And whenever something is not known, people tend to get really scared of it because the fear of catastrophic loss or catastrophic change to a pro to a system that we know and love is very real without any kind of assurance from the company that something is happening and i feel like a lot of people are very afraid of the corporatization of twitch they're they're really afraid of of twitch tv becoming this giant empire and moving away from this user-driven focused thing that it started off as. And that's something that we've seen throughout the history of American business. It's, it's just um, companies get larger, they lose their connection to the user base, and slowly they start to implement things that the users never really wanted in the first place. But I want to separate this into two categories, right? So over here is the unknown that it's, it's the fear of, of what might happen. And over here is the implementation of what actually happened, what's going on today. And one is fueling the other. We're, a lot of the reason why people are pissed off and not even giving the implementation a chance is because there was no communication about it. It just got dropped on us. It was like, here it is. These are the changes. No user feedback. This is what it is. Okay. That's a problem. Like, th that's a serious problem that Twitch TV has not communicated with us. And it then certainly hasn't communicated with us as broadcasters. Um, who, does it, who it affects is, is, a, is a relatively small percentage. I mean, 16% was the number I heard. I, I can't confirm that, but supposedly 16% of Twitch users watch VODs on the regular. Um, and then there's various communities. There's speedrunning communities. There's um, groups of people whose VODs are really important. And it will affect them severely because of a single issue with the issue over here, which is the implementation side. Um, the problem with implementation is that in-game music is being flagged. And actually, I, even one of Twitch TV's own uh, weekly shows got flagged by the content system. So the content system is going nuts. And automatic content um, flagging has never really worked for anyone. I feel like the sudden implementation of the system is worthy of fear, but the biggest thing that we need to be aware of is how this will change Twitch in the future. The kind of things that will happen as a result of this precedent, because what this says is that we are not afraid to put copyrighted material out of our system. And my feeling is that if this is a system that has come to VODs, then it's going to be a system that very soon will come to live broadcasts in some way.
And if that happens, then a large amount of streamers are affected. 100% of streamers are affected, not just 16% or whatever the number is. And so my personal concern as a broadcaster and, and, a, and a full-time entertainer is a lot more oriented towards what this president sets and what the future of Twitch is going to be. And because I'm not being communicated with, I do not know what's going to happen. And, and, and that's a, a terrible place to be in business. You never want to have a... Um, set of circumstances controlling your business by a third party that you can't control. To some extent, the entirety of Twitch has that problem. To another, though, um, we're largely in control of our own broadcasts. So what does this mean for you, the user? And, and the answer is if you don't watch VODs, it doesn't really mean anything. Um, I, don't, I don't think there's really anything that is going to happen right now. But you need to be very wary of the future of what Twitch TV is trying to do, and, and you need to submit feedback towards that end uh, and try to think about, um, try to have them think about some, some of the changes they're making and some of the issues with communication. I would say your top responsibility as a user, if you don't like this, is to give Twitch TV feedback immediately and what, through whatever systems they have and be very, very specific and be very, very um, forthcoming in that, in, that, um, in that feedback. I think that's really important. I think Twitch TV is not so much of a large conglomerate yet that they would not be able to hear that feedback. And um, knowing several people in the organization, there's a lot of powerful movers there that I think can still make a difference. So don't be afraid to leave feedback. As a broadcaster, if you happen to be watching this, um, if your broadcast is really VOD-based, you need to start thinking about your business strategy because there is not a single broadcaster. I remember I was responding to a tweet that said, um, you know, Twitch TV broadcasters were under the assumption that music um licensing was okay for twitch and my response to that tweet was there is no way that anybody it's a that's a full-time broadcaster remotely thinks that we had any right to use music any more than youtuber guys did we're getting away with it because dmca is not something that is pursued on twitch for live content because the system to do so is, is presently much more difficult than just going on youtube seeing a video with your content and then submitting a dmca request twitch tv also makes that system more difficult since you have to submit and mail a dmca request i believe whereas with youtube you can submit you can simply submit one i've done it several times for videos where people just upload my own content it's really easy um and they just remove it there's no argument so uh youtube has a very easy system for dmca removal I would tell you as a broadcaster that you need to expect that coming into play um, in the near future. And I, I labeled that at about three to six months, um, approximately three months ago. So I, I think that's coming into play very fast. If you are a very VOD-based broadcaster, you need to seriously reevaluate what you're doing here because um, this is a system that we can't fight. You know, you can't fight the world, right? You can't fight the, the, the conglomerate. You don't even try. Um, you are going to have to adapt to the changes that are making that are in the system. This applies to the users as well. We can go to other websites and we can go stream on Azubu or whatever we're going to do, but those websites, if they get big enough, are eventually going to get the same problems that we have on Twitch, which is that Twitch is getting big. It's one of the largest websites in the world. At this point, it's being noticed by major corporations who are taking a look at it and they're saying, okay, um, what is this? How do we deal with this? And in doing so, it's being looked at by um a lot of corporations and government entities that um want to control it and see a lot of money in it um there is absolutely no disagreement that the that the laws for dmca at this point are completely archaic and totally absurd but we can't expect to change that through twitch tv because youtube has failed and youtube is much larger than twitch tv so we must expect to deal with the changes we must expect to um basically deal with a future where the internet is becoming increasingly regulated um, by the United States government because there's money here and because there is a large amount of information here. That is frustrating to me um, because I feel like the internet should be a free place. I feel like the internet is um, a little bit of a wild west, but it's also a place where people can go for the real story. And people can get content that's sort of outside of the um, incredible regulation that goes on with television and other mediums for communication. I also like the interactivity of the internet. It's, it's something that you can't get by watching a news program because you can talk to people like me and entertainers. All that, though, 
is threatened and I think will increasingly become regulated until the point where it becomes much like television. And I expect that the FCC and, the, and, and Twitch TV itself will increasingly become under pressure to make changes like this one. And then we are seeing the beginning and the only the cusp of these changes. This is just the start. There's going to be a lot of more stuff um, coming along uh, that's going to be a lot worse than this. It's going to be perceived that it's going to be a lot worse than this. As a broadcaster and as a user, you must adapt. That's your only choice. You, you can't control the flow of this river, per se, you know, to use it metaphorically. So you have to try to sit within your own realm of what you can control. I mean, for me, this doesn't affect me a lot. I already regarded VODs and YouTube videos as copyright. Everything involved with that, I think, would be extremely easy to relegate. Um, but that said, what Twitch, what Twitch TV can do, I'm rambling a little bit, rambling a lot more than a little bit, but what Twitch TV can do is they can take active steps to listen to their user base and they can implement a copyright system that makes sense. I completely understand, and as a user, you have to completely understand also that Twitch needs to do something about this. If they don't, they're going to get the, the government's going to slam them. Like, it's not their fault that they have to implement a DMCA system. It isn't. They, they have to do it. Um, if they don't, the, like the FCC, all these guys are going to come in and they're going to they're going to shut the damn place down, like they did with online gambling, right? If there's if there's, it, Twitch has always operated in a sort of legal gray area, so they have to comply with this stuff. The question is, how can they comply with it? How can they actually make a change that is understandable by the user base and simultaneously not so painful that it goes through all these false positives and knocks out all these broadcasts that we know and love. The very first step that Twitch TV needs to do is communicate better. We need to have a much better line between what's going on at corporate and what's going on with broadcasters, what's going on with corporate and what's going on with users. Because right now we don't know anything. We don't know anything about Google. We don't know anything about Twitch. We don't know anything about what's happening in the future. That is a serious problem. Improve your communication right now. Do that. Talk to your users, talk about why this stuff is happening, and talk about what the plans are and what you know. That's got to be number one, is transparency. Number two is find a system of implementation based on user feedback and legality that makes sense. This sudden impl implementation of this system is going to cause fires that you can't put out. If you actually implement this system in a way that is usable, it, but also conforms with DMCA rules, um, and you lower the amount of false positives, you're going to have a lot less backlash from the community. I, I feel like this change may have been something that Twitch TV did out of a sudden request, like Google or some other entity came in and said, you need one of these systems right now, because this is not a system that seems like it took a lot of time to implement. But that's completely incidental. I have no idea if that's true. What I do know is that the current implementation of the system is not good. It's a system that um, is going to create a lot of suffering on Twitch TV for uh, a significant amount of the user base. And furthermore, it's a system that if built upon... If this is a foundation for future systems, will affect live broadcasts extremely negatively. Transparency and implements a system that's based on good user feedback and um, conforms with legality at the same time. That's got to be the two objectives that Twitch has right now. But for us as users, I feel like we're in the same place we were yesterday, the same place we were since Google announced that they were considering buying Twitch TV, and the same place that we've been since Twitch TV said that they were... Um, considering this option, and that Twitch TV has grown in general, which is we're waiting and seeing. And that's it. We're waiting and seeing. We're waiting and seeing what's going to happen. We're just reactive. We can't be proactive because we don't know the situation. And that's not a good business for anybody to be in, including Twitch. So those are my thoughts on it. I know that we're going to talk about this a ton on the live stream. So I wanted to put something like this up so it gave a precedent for it. All right. Thanks.